Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs and I have a fun card for you featuring the Racing By stamp set from the 2024-2025 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. It's so cute. I love these little race cars. Um, I am going to show you first how to make this checkerboard background. It's easier than you think it is. All right, the first thing that you're going to need are a bunch of half-inch basic black strips and a bunch of basic white half inch strips and then a piece of um, just basic white cardstock. This is a half a sheet. I don't really know how much I'm gonna need. So I am um, getting a big piece. Now I'm just gonna take my adhesive and I'm gonna run it down like this. And you can use an adhesive sheet, which is actually what we're gonna use on the next step. But for this one, I'm just gonna Go like that and you want to make sure you go all the way to the end to the edges all right i'm going to start with black this is again i said a half a sheet of cardstock so it's five and a half inches across and i'm just going to go down making a pattern black and white pattern and you want to make sure you bump that up next to it each time that you go across The reason I chose white, you could also choose black in the background, is because if I leave any gaps in the cardstock, you won't really be able to tell because the paper showing through is the same color as one of the strips. So it kind of protects you from making if you, you know, if your if your pieces aren't exactly bumped up to each other all the way down. All right, I'm going to continue down about, I don't know, halfway down, maybe a little bit more than halfway. All right, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna get my trimmer. And really we can just trim this off. I probably made it a lot longer than I needed it to be, but I just wanted to be sure. All right, so I'm gonna first, I'm gonna make this Actually, it doesn't have to be even because we're gonna do kind of a, well, let's go ahead and make it even. <laughs> let's go ahead and just make, cut off any of those edges that might not be even. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it into half inch strips. Okay, so now we're gonna have these black and white half inch strips. All right, now that we've got all of our strips, I have got a piece of basic white cardstock that is four by five and a fourth. And this time I am gonna use my adhesive sheets. I've cut my adhesive sheet exactly the same size, so I can just peel these off. And lay them down, and now we've got this big piece that is a sticker. All right, so now let's remove that backing And you got this big sticky sheet. This is going to keep your pieces stuck down really flat. All right. Now I'm going to go across this way. All right. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start up at the edge like that. And then I'm going to get another one. And this time I'm going to make sure that the white matches the black over here. Okay. So see how I'm gonna vary that each time? That way, we've got a checkerboard. Now you could do this with any colors. You could do this, my strips are half an inch, you could do these with three quarters inch, one inch, whatever you want. But this is a great way to make a black and white checkered background if you don't have already have black and white checkered paper which I didn't have and I really wanted to make for this card all right so now you've got this back like this so we've got to trim it off okay get all of those pieces let's try that again it's really thick so you're gonna have to push down hard on your blade that one just doesn't want to come off 
Let's do this. There we go. And then we'll get all of these pieces off. And now we have our piece of black and white checkered paper. Pretty easy. We're gonna mount that onto a real red card base. And I'm just gonna use my seal, my stamp and seal, and we'll attach that like that. All right, now for our race car. All right, let's stamp our little race car. I'm gonna stamp him in real red, which was of course the first color I thought of when I saw this cute little race car. We're gonna stamp the uh, tires in memento black. And then you've got this little race car dude that you can stamp. And we're gonna put him right there in the car. Now, unfortunately, these stamps don't have any dies, so we're gonna go old school and we're gonna cut it out with our paper snips. Now, the first thing you wanna do is cut off all that excess cardstock because it just gets in the way. Then take your paper snips and go along the outside edge, leaving just a little white border. Now I'm gonna skip this part. We're gonna come back to this in just a second to get into those nooks and crannies. But stay right on the outside. That way your eye will only see the edge of the stamp and not necessarily any crooked cutting that you may do. All right, now get your dies and carefully go in. Stay in the center part of your blade like that. These paper snips are just perfect for the, this cutting like this because um, it can get down in those small areas. If you try to use big scissors, it is not going to work very well. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is make some fire coming out of the back of our car. Um, I have cut a basic white fire shape. These, this is from our Bistro Burger dies. And I'm gonna take my small blending brush and Daffodil Delight, I'm gonna add some yellow to it first. Then we'll come back with pumpkin pie. And we're just gonna do pumpkin pie on the top edge. So I'm just gonna kind of stay up on the edge like that. Okay, looks good. Now we don't need the whole piece for our car. I have another project, um, a slider card using this, um, this stamp set that does use the whole piece. If you're looking for more ideas, make sure you look for that on um, YouTube or on my blog. All right, I'm just gonna get these two pieces and I'm gonna stack them up like this. So we kind of have some, you know, more interest in our flame. And then we will just set that right there like that. All right. All right. Let's stamp the sentiment. We're going to use um, real red and memento black. And I am going to, because this is a clear photopolymer, I can actually do this without having to mask off because I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to stamp that top part in real red. And then I'm gonna stamp the bottom part in Memento. Now, of course, if this is tricky and you're struggling to keep those colors separated, just get a post-it note or post-it tape and adhere it or um, mask it off when you ink it. All right, there we go. Racing by to say happy birthday. All right, I've got a piece of silver foil for our little racetrack and I'm gonna put that right across there. And then we'll put our little dude on here with some dimensionals. Like that. And then we're gonna put this, I'm gonna trim this off so that it'll be even with my edge. This is a stylish shape banner basic white. See how we're going to put that right there. 
And I've got some black twine. I'm just gonna make a small bow. Who says a masculine card can't have a bow? I think it can, totally. All right. And we'll put this on with a glue dot, which is hiding over here. We're gonna put that right there in the corner. And then last but not least, I have grabbed these industrial trinkets. They are really cool. And I thought they were perfect for, I've got some dimensionals in here. They're perfect to go with this card. So I'm gonna put three. I'm gonna put two up here and one down there. Let's see if I can grab these with my take your pick tool. They're gonna to need some time to dry for sure. They're pretty heavy. There we go, and we need one more like that. All right, there you go. Guys, how fun of a birthday card is this? I think lots of boys in your life would love this card. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Let me know if you have questions, and happy stamping. Bye-bye.